Welcome back to my utmost for his highest for October 1st. The place of exaltation. Let's look at Mark 9 verse 2. Mark 9 verse 2 says, After six days, Jesus took Peter, James, and John with him and led them up a high mountain where they were all alone. There he was transfigured before them. His clothes became dazzling white, whiter than anyone in the world could bleach them. And there appeared before them Elijah and Moses, who were talking with Jesus. The place of exaltation. We have all experienced times of exaltation on the mountain when we have seen things from God's perspective and have wanted to stay there. Anybody want to stay there? I do, in the good times. But God will never allow us to stay there. The true test of our spiritual life is in exhibiting the power to descend from the mountain. If we only have the power to go up, something is wrong. It is a wonderful thing to be on the mountain with God, but a person only gets there so he may later go down and lift up the demon-possessed people in the valley. See verses 9, 14 to 18. We are not made for the mountains, for sunrises, or for other beautiful attractions in life. Those are simply intended to become moments of inspiration. We are made for the valley and the ordinary things of life, and that is where we have to prove our stamina and strength. Yet our spiritual selfishness always wants repeated moments on the mountain. We feel we could talk and live like perfect angels if we could only stay on the mountaintop. Those times of exaltation are exceptional, and they have their meaning in our life with God. But we must be aware to prevent our spiritual selfishness from, from wanting to make them the only time. We are inclined to think that everything that happens is to be turned into useful teaching. In actual fact, it is to be turned into something even better than teaching, namely character. The mountaintop is not to teach us anything. It is meant to make us something. There is a terrible trap in always asking, what's the use of this experience? We can never measure spiritual matters in that way. The moments on the mountaintop are rare moments, and they are meant for something in God's purpose. It is tempting, isn't it, to want to stay on the mountaintop up there when things are good and everything's just going so right and everything. But that's not what God wants. He wants us to go up there to get strong, but then to come back down and to serve other people. There's lots of things he wants us to do that are in the valley. And in the valley is a lot of times where our faith gets really strong and we learn to lean on him even more. So I hope today you do enjoy those mountaintop experiences. However, realize that we can't just camp out there and stay there, right? We need to go back down, be among the people, and do his work. So learn to enjoy both times because both times teach you something but I have found in the valley when things are hard that's actually when I learned to trust him even more and my faith gets so so strong so hope today if you're going through a valley that you remember I'm getting stronger and it's gonna be okay and then the next mountains gonna happen and then we're gonna go back down again and that's just called life so have a great time no matter where you are on that mountain knowing that he's got you and I'll see you back here tomorrow you can order your own copy of the My Utmost for His Highest devotional book by going to utmost.org. And I would love to answer any questions you may have about faith in Jesus. Just email me through my website, nancyjoytoyou.com. And I hope you go out and shine for Him today. See you tomorrow.